guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about what I use for homeschool planning. In years past, I have done a few different things. One, one year I actually um, printed off some things that I found on Etsy and I used those. That was a lot of work. Um, and then for about three or four years, I used the Erin Condren Teacher Planner, which I really did enjoy using. The only problem that I had with it is that it's really geared towards public school teachers. So there's a lot of things in there that just do not apply to homeschool and things that were like not being used and was just waste for me. I had to use a lot of washi tape to cover things up and kind of custom make it to what I wanted it to be. So at one point I decided I needed to find another option. Last year for my planner, I switched to the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. Um, I find that it's really working well for me. I don't really use the weekly layouts because I like the eight and a half by 11. It's big enough for me to do all my planning on the monthly calendar. And with the extra line pages, I just don't feel that I need anything else. Um, I do like the Erin Condren planner because I can use the coil clip, um, you know, the things to clip things in, invitations and different things that I want to keep. I can clip right in my planner. So that's been working really well for me. But it brings me back to what am I going to do this year for my homeschool planning. And when I thought about what I have used in the past that I really loved, when I think back to when my kids were younger, there was a few years that we did sunlight for our curriculum. And I really loved the way that their curriculum was laid out. It just was really appealing to the eyes. Any of you who have ever used sunlight probably know what I'm talking about. It's just everything is kind of lined up and you can look at the subjects and even with a subject it's broken out into the things that they need to do under that subject and it's you know by the week and you can just go through and highlight what you get finished doing. So I ended up thinking, what if I could make my own planner for the kids for homeschool that is based off of that sunlight template? And that's exactly what I did. I actually used Google Sheets to create this template. And what I did is I, I made a sheet for each week of the year, so 36 weeks, this is week one, and I broke it out into all the subjects that she um, will be doing throughout the year. I did give two spaces for each subject, even if right now I don't use those two spaces, I just wanted to have an extra space, just in case at some point I need to fill in. Um, and of course I gave more room for science and especially history. You homeschool mamas out there know that um, history ends up having more involved than all the other subjects that we do. So I needed some extra room for that. I also down here at the bottom put in two extras that are just blank so that if we have field trips or anything like that that we're doing, I can add that in at the bottom there. So then what I did is I made each day a different shade. So I just shaded in every other day in the dark gray. I made the labels a little bit darker than that gray so that they stood out. Um, it was really simple to do using Google Sheets. My husband actually has a video that he made to show you how um, you can create this template and I will put that link down below so that you guys can go there if you decide that you want to make something similar to this. Um, but I think it turned out really um, awesome and I'm excited about the organization for this year. I'm hoping that it turns out to work as well as I think it will. I hope you guys have a super blessed homeschool year. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.